Okay, so I want to put a day counter on, on this video, like how many days it actually took me to build this pen. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike with Fowler Family Farm. All right, so we're going back, we're coming back out here to the uh, buck pen so we can build this second buck pen. It rained on me again this morning. That's two mornings in a row where it rained pretty much all morning. It's about 11 o'clock and it stopped raining about 30 minutes ago and it's, whew, it's humid. I bet it's already 80 degrees. It is very hot out here, very humid. Clouds moved away though, it's clear. Sky looks good. All the storms are off to our east now, back that way. Uh, it may have quit about an hour ago. Uh, we had lunch though, so. So I wanna get out here and start working on this. First thing I'm gonna do is try to start setting some of this up. I, still again, I probably won't get this done today. It'll still be, this video will still be a, a complete video. I'll get the buck pin ready. The bu buck house won't be ready, but the buck pin, putting them back in there, that will be ready. And I'll have the electric fence in. So basically we're gonna design it today. All right, let's get started. I wanna go grab the tractor and get some dirt. I probably won't show you much of that because that takes a lot of time. And if I try to video it, it just makes it worse. Just a lot of time built into that. While I got y'all over here, I might as well show you this. This is my old chicken watering system from like four years ago. It's not working, obviously. It's been, I'm sure these, these are dripping. Y'all probably can't see that, but it's probably just dry rotted because it hasn't been used in so long, it's just not, I need to replace those nipples probably. Um, but I do like this system. I just don't know if it's big enough for what I need. So the chicken watering system still a work in progress. So there's my load of dirt. I probably need another one, I would say. But it didn't take too long, I guess, really. And I did video a little bit for y'all. What do you think, Cy? Is that gonna keep you warm? Better watch out for this little turtle. We have turtles all over the place. All right, so yet it's another day. Yes, I'm wearing different clothes. Um, I didn't realize we had an appointment in the city with Braxton yesterday and me and Tanya had an appointment in the city. So I didn't realize that. So we had to stop right after I dumped the dirt, but luckily Brendan did come out and rake the dirt for me. So that looks really well, but I am gonna remove a little bit of this right off the top and put it inside the lean-to. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do on this uh, new pen area is put up the first panel. Cause I wanna know exactly where the first panel goes and where I've got it angled. That way I know where to build the actual uh, buck hut is what I'm gonna call it. And I'm actually gonna do two videos today. We're gonna build the pen and build the buck hut, but I'm also gonna shoot a separate video just for the buck hut. And that'll come out after this video. So, but you'll see the buck hut in this video as well. But how I build it, you'll see in a future video, probably one or two down the road. So this one panel is our first panel. And this is right the same line I was using for my electric fence. So this will work perfect. So I'm gonna drive this post in, put this panel in, and then we're gonna figure out if we wanna go one more panel or just the butt cut. The ground is so soft, it's a perfect T-post day. Yeah, you didn't work so hard on that one. No, that was kind of easy. <laughs> what? Alright, let's go. Let's eat. We're going to eat first because Braxton's been working really hard over there on some venison beef 
barbecue burgers. Yep. Ooh, that's hard to say. It is. Venison beef barbecue burgers. But he promised us they'll be good. Yes. We'll and see. they smell amazing. I'll so bring we're you guys along. Go eat because we need to go eat. Yeah, I'll bring you all along and let you look at them. The buns have been made like this. Okay. These are the last ones I put on. Buns are grilling. Pretty burnt, so hurry up. So take them all off real quick. Well, I don't know why I don't have a place to put them. Put them on a plate. There's a plate over there. So this is the uh, beef and venison burgers. There's some small ones in there. And Braxton made his own barbecue sauce. All right, y'all? What's in the barbecue sauce, Brax? Barbecue sauce has a secret Ke ingredient. Ketchup. Ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, A1. Um, and then, I'm trying to think of all the spices I put in it. It's got ground mustard. Um, hey, you better hurry, those look burnt. It's got ground mustard, Tabasco, brown okay. sugar, and like salt and pepper. Okay. Pretty good. Have you tasted it yet? The barbecue? All of it. Sauce? Oh, well, the whole burger. No, not yet. Silas looks like he wants one. Yeah. He's been up here all morning. Yeah, the burgers, like the buns coming out to work. Rex, what do you think? Well, I'm biased, but. You're biased. It's good. good. <laughs> <laughs> Here's mine. And we are a family of grilled onions. We like our grilled onions. Barbecue sauce on both buns. And I'm trying a venison burger first before I try a beef burger. All right, y'all. The burgers were good. That was really, really good. Bra Braxton's a really good cook or chef or whatever you want to call it. He always wanted to be a chef. I'm not sure that's going to happen right away. He's got other plans, but uh, we'll talk about those plans later. Some of you have already figured it out, but uh, we'll address it in another video. All right, so I brought out some zip ties just to put this up on here for now because I don't know where my clips are. I do have a whole bag of clips. I just misplaced them like you know, a good farmer does. So I'm gonna add one more teeth post in the middle, set this panel up, and we'll be good. I don't know where mom went. She was at Meemaw's. Uh, we'll start over. Maybe she gave me one. I'll show you, let me get this one in real quick. Oh, man. Hard? <laughs> no, it's soft. Oh. That's super soft. Where does it go? Does it rain? Yeah, all the water. This one was already here, right? Yeah. Actually, bend this one. Yeah, I gotta put this panel in there. Yeah. So they don't get out anymore. Well, just in a couple of spots. This is gonna be a new buck pin right here. So I can separate Chip from Megatron. Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess you could do inside. Okay. okay. Yeah, I got Brennan out here helping me a little bit. We're just going to cut that end that Brennan's standing on back there will be our gate, which will be a four foot gate. So one panel, four foot gate, and then our lean to that we're building. The lean to I'm building will be fence pickets. And it's gonna be just three walls. Those walls will not be joined. They'll be joined to a T-post. That's my idea. That's how I'm thinking about doing this. I haven't seen this, but I think it's gonna work fine. Um, so I'll build three walls, three separate walls. That way I can take it down and move it if I need to. It won't be, this will not be permanent. And it's not gonna be huge. It's gonna be big enough for one adult goat or five or six baby goats or kid goats. That way I can wean five or six little boys in here if I wanted to at three months and they can all fit in this little butt hut. Okay, so this is the opening for the gate. We've got the gate cut and I have some ideas running in my head about how to secure this gate a little better than the one that we have right now. Let me show you up. They're the same size, but this gate here, I don't mind the way I close it. The way I close it's fine, but I overlapped it a lot on purpose because I envisioned they would be trying to ram it. Well, they do. Y'all can see the bow in the fence. They ram this fence. <clears throat> they ram this fence to get out and it works. I mean, they, they will, especially if we keep this one unlocked. If this one stays unlocked, this bottom edge goes through here 
and there's just enough opening right in here. This will stay locked, but there's just enough opening for them to get out. I wanna prevent that on this other one. For now, I'll probably do it just like this for the time being. But in the future, I've got a couple of things running through my head on how to better secure this, make it more secure where even if they do ram it, it's not gonna bend and it's not gonna bow. More like strengthening it. Okay, so now my butt cut, back wall would be right here, side wall, and then the third side wall. So it'll just be three sides. I know originally I was thinking about doing right up against that, so I only had to build two sides, but I think I like this being open and having a pin here, I think. All right, let's get started on the butt cut. I wanna show you a little bit of that in this video, but like I, again, like I said, it's gonna be a separate video. So you're, if you wanna see how I build the butt cut, you're gonna have to watch that second video, which will be two or three videos after this one, probably. Okay, so what I did was I put one screw right here, just one, so that this board underneath the two by four can pivot and swivel. So Brennan, go to the other end and pull the two by four to the top edge of that, very top edge of that board, yeah. So when this wall is completely built, I'll be able to flip it over and use my saw right along the edge of this two by four and cut all this off. So now all I gotta do is make sure each board is butt up against this one at the bottom and all my heights will be, all my heights will be good. Okay, so this is what I was talking about, flipping this board over and cutting along this angle. I'm just using my cordless saw to cut this. It's not going all the way through on all of them for some reason, but that'll be an easy fix at the end. Okay, y'all, we're gonna continue on with the buck pin. I do have the buck cut or buck house built, as you can see, but that, like I said, that's a totally separate video. It'll come out after this video that you're watching now. So my gate is cut. It is ready to go, but I'm gonna do it last. So what I'm gonna do now is put my T-post here where my electric fence is gonna go, and then I'm gonna put a T-post here at this corner, and then I'll have a cattle panel going this way. And then I'll have cattle panels going this way. So let's get that done real quick. So I'm just using regular zip ties temporarily for now. And then Tanya's starting over here on this panel with the metal zip ties. And then eventually I'll find my clips. Uh, when I find my clips, we'll just put those on here too. Huh? It's also expensive right now. It is. It is hot and humid out here today. Those work pretty good? Um, yeah, they're all right. Can you get them okay. tight? Yeah. Okay. I'll see if I can go find the clips real quick. It's much easier if we have clips. Really? I mean, these are good. Yeah. I mean, they work good. Yeah. Oh, the clips are in the um, tack room. Oh, are they? Okay. Yeah. So the metal zip ties do pretty well. It's you just have to yeah, do I mean, this they, they a million do good. times, and the clips, do you just do it once. Yeah, the clips are easy. I go look. You want to go look? Yeah. All right. I'm going to show you the structure of the pin now. 
We did add a lot of dirt, covered all that up. So now the air won't go through that lean to other than that, that hole right there. So we are using that cattle panel there. And I just put this one up. I just put this one up and this is gonna be a gate area. Um, we'll, we'll get that figured out later. I don't need to put a gate in today because I, I want them to go in and out of here. I don't want to pin him up right now, mainly because he's going to eat all this, him and uh, Chip. Megatron's going to be on this side, and Chip's going to be on this side. And they will be separated for the time being because I, I really just want to see Megatron grow on his own without the interference of Chip. So I'll feed him out a little bit, grain here and there, not a whole lot. Uh, just to give him a little extra protein, see if I can grow him out a little bit bigger, get him caught up with chip. So one thing I wish I would have done is put this T-post in before I put this roof on because it's at an angle. So I'm going to have to use some kind of strapping to keep this pushed up against the uh, buck hut or buck house. We are going to use poly wire just like we've used in the past. No reason to change it up, but I do plan on buying a better charger or energizer. The one I have, I think is like, well, let's just go look at it. So this is the one I have. It's a 2.2 joules, output joules. And this this is from Tractor Supply, so it's nothing special. But I do wanna buy the Gallagher. I have a Gallagher in my tack room and it's a little bit stronger than this one. And I wanna buy one more that's even stronger than that one and put it out here. And I'll just use this one right here for like temporary use or for shorter runs. Because that, that can be the issue. You need your your output jewels to be a little higher so that when it hits those goats, they really feel it. Cows, that right there works great for cows. But for goats, a little stronger. It's a little bitty pool, Duck. You have a really big pond right over here. I don't know why they will not go to that pond. Not enough cover is what I'm thinking. Pond is right there. Those trees are too far away, I guess, for cover. Okay, so I got Braxton mowing. Yeah, that one. I got Braxton mowing where our electric fence is going. And then uh, me and him will start staking it out and put up the fence. Should get this done today. Okay, so I want to put a day counter on, on this video, like how many days it actually took me to build this pen. Um, and the reason it took me so many days is because I got an infection, upper respiratorial infection. You can probably tell just by the way I'm talking, my voice has kind of changed a little bit. But uh, Braxton's being real careful with the mower because he knows there's a string over there and if he runs over it, it'll get caught up in the uh, blades. But anyway, I got an infection and then with full-time work, not resting at all, coming out here and trying to get stuff done, full-blown, going full speed, you know, and not really recouping uh my body just kind of said no nah, you're done so i could only really work 30 minutes at a time before i was just completely worn out um so that's why it took me so long plus we had to make a trip up to tahlequah oklahoma um we had a native american decoration at the at the cemetery so that was always that's we love going to that that's really pretty cool i actually videoed that and that should be coming out i don't know it may be five or six videos after this, just when I get a chance to actually edit that video. It's a pretty cool video though, I think. So Braxton's doing the, the uh, mowing over here. I think he's pretty much done. We're gonna stake it out and uh, just get this finished up real quick. Shouldn't take us much longer. You get it? Okay, so Braxton finished mowing and we got the T-post in. We're gonna start at this corner here. You can see that extra T-post we just put in. It will go this direction to that T-post. I'll just walk it with you real quick. Fast forward. Then we turn slightly to the left and we go to this T-post. Turn slightly to the left and we go to where Braxton's at. That's t-post he's working on and he's putting on the lock jaws real quick thanks brett addison brett addison gave me his lock jaws because he didn't like them so i still use them i still like them so all right 
and then from Braxton's spot, we go this way between these trees. Might be a little close right here up against this tree here. We'll see. And then from here, we go to the corner of the buck house. So that will be the shape of the uh, actual electric fence. And then somewhere in this area right here, probably this T-post, or maybe this corner, maybe right in here, you can see kind of where I'm at. Somewhere in this area, we'll take the electric fence and divide this area in half. So Chip and Megatron can each have a half. And we'll also be getting some pigs here shortly. They're also gonna be inside this electric fence area as well. We'll build them a little pen right under some shade. Uh, and then I'm gonna train them. After I get them trained to stay in the pen with feed and all that and to come to us with feed, I'll start working on them with electric fence. I don't think it'll be very hard to get them trained. All right, so Braxton moved on to the next T-post. He's gonna put all the lock jaws on and after that we can string up the fence. All right, so I got Brendan and Braxton taking the poly wire. We're gonna start at the top row and work our way down. With two people, we're gonna do five strands, but with two people, this should take maybe 15 minutes. You just kind of tighten it as you go and it, it's easy work. Our only dilemma is we may run out of wire, so we'll have to, so if, that, if we do run out of wire, we'll just have to go grab a, a little bit more tie on and just continue until we're complete the whole circle. Yeah, now go down. Okay, so you can see the top one. Let me focus here. We have this clip facing up and then we'll come down with the wire and now the clip's facing down. So you hook and you just turn it and go. It is another hot, muggy day. I think the high today is supposed to be around right at 80. Golly, it feels like 100 already. It's not even 1030. Chip scratching himself with the trees. Oh, really? I talk about you and you have to come over here? We've already got you trapped, buddy. Yeah, we already got you trapped in here. You're not going to be able to get out. Yeah, I'm not a girl. Don't be doing that stuff to me. So Megatron is up against Brendan's goats over there. Chip and Megatron switched. Chip was over with Brendan's and Megatron was over here with our mamas, but now they've switched. Yeah, eat all that up. I don't even want to mow it. Eat it. So all these stakes you see here will come up. This was our old spot. So we will probably, most likely, run out of wire. And plus, I think our last electric fence, it's only four strands, and this one's five. So I'm pretty sure we're going to run out. We'll have to go get another reel and just continue on. Okay, so Brendan's doing a little bit more mowing over here just for a second. And then uh, we've got the string completely ran. We just need to tie it off and I wanna make sure we pull it tight before I tie it off. So I'm gonna have Brendan help me with that. So while he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and come up with a, uh, a way to secure this gate for now. Um, I'm actually gonna try these lock jaws. There's a space in here that I think will work for like a swivel. Like a, like a hinge. Uh, I just got to get it to fit in there properly. And that could be the, the problem. So let me figure it out and I'll come right back to you and see if it works. Okay, so let me show you this, what I think is ingenious design for hinges. I'm using these lock jaws. Bring you over here on this side. So you have to put the lock jaw on the fence panel first. And you can see, let me grab one. So the fence panel like, like this piece right here of the fence panel, that vertical, goes right in here. Let me see if I can zoom in on one of these. You can 
kind of see it right there. You can kind of see it right there. So you have to put those on before you put the fence up against the T-post. So put those on your panel and then clip these on. And of course, you know this little, this little area right here on the lock jaw goes on this vertical rib right here. It's kind of hard to see because it's all, there's not a whole lot of dimension to it right now. But it works pretty well as a hinge. Uh, I did take this back off and wrap it, wrap the fence in it as well. And that also holds the fence up at the height I want. So I put it underneath this horizontal piece so that it would never go lower than it is. And it's about an inch off the ground. It's perfect. So now all I gotta do is put a little latch. Actually, I'm gonna do two latches, one at the top, one at the bottom. So I'm not saying that's my permanent fix on this gate, but I believe this is gonna work pretty well. We'll just have to see what happens when Megatron starts pushing on the gate. If he starts pushing on it and they start popping off and stuff, it's just a temporary fix. So we'll just have to play it by ear and see what happens. Okay, y'all, it is tied off. My voice is cracking. It is tied off and ready to go. I do not have it turned on yet. Um, so you can see kind of how I, how I did this corner just to keep it from touching metal or the ground or anything. But it's, it's tight. It's pretty good. I think that'll work really, really well. Five strand. So I think what I'll do is start right here where I've got this plastic step in stake. I'm gonna give Chip a little less space than Megatron and I'll probably go straight to that step in post there. So he'll have this for the next two weeks and he'll be fine right here. This will give him plenty of feed for two weeks. And this will give Megatron, and the reason is because this grass really looks good. This looks really healthy and good. And there's not as much good healthy stuff over here. But Megatron, Megatron can also eat his pen right now because he hasn't been pooping or peeing in it. So he'll eat this. They don't eat this. <laughs> they won't eat inside their pen once they start pooping and peeing in it. Um, but down the road, we will have pigs right here. Y'all see this little indention right here? That's where I plan on putting like a pig pen. And then the pigs will run under these trees right here. They'll have plenty of shade under these trees. So if y'all remember, we have two pigs over at Marie's and I'm probably not healthy enough to go over there and wrestle pigs right now. I probably need two or three more days of resting. So I'm gonna call her and see if maybe after the expo, the uh, Oki Homesteading Expo, if I can swing by and pick them up after that. Uh, that way I should feel pretty good by then. Um, I need to get in the house and take a break and rest, recover a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think this is gonna work great. I will add this line this evening and I'll put the bucks in this evening. Um, so the next time you see a video out here, you should see the bucks separated and in their own pen. Remember, I've got how I built that right there in a totally separate video. It'll come out after this one. Um, so we'll see you on that video. Remember, do the good. At the Feller family farm. Come on.